What's up guys, welcome to the artclasses.com Today I am going to show you how I paint a speed painting of a mountain versus viper um, So this one is inspired by Game of Thrones of, of course um, This one takes me about 30 minutes or a little bit less I use Photoshop, CS5 and I do have CS2 and CS3 and a Wacom tablet if you're wondering what I'm using, you know, usually I get that question once in a while. Also, if you've never seen my video before, there's a click on the right top right corner icon and you'll find out about more tutorial or just go to my channel. Alright, well, um, let's get started. So in this one, I start off with a sandy color. Um, and then I may create a lasso too because I'm trying to create like a round arena um, then I, paint, I use a texture brush to sort of get the darker tone because the light is going to come and hit the ground and then part of the wall is going to be darker so start creating the wall of the arena and then um, making another lasso tool and to create like another section of the arena arena so it'll be like two or three section um, at this point I, I think in the end I kind of change it into the blue which I should have done but I didn't thought about it uh, sometime something didn't cross your mind in the beginning so now um, Thing I'm kind of pause and not really doing anything here um, so I'm just gonna extend the one on top a little bit so that it's covered that white line or the lighter value line and then it's become like a sort of like a, a more solid wall so the light didn't get through otherwise it looked like it has that gap um, then I, I make this wall a little bit darker just trying to get the texture and everything and then creating the edge of the wall like on top of the wall since it's facing up also same as the floor so it's get the poly to get the a lighter value then uh, I think I'm trying to create like a columns or something but I couldn't think of anything because I probably did this one early in the morning or something I couldn't think of anything um, so now I put a darker color right behind on the far further wall and creating the, the door or the gate so that the uh, some kind of like a <laughs> I was thinking a, a gladiator um, stadium or coliseum that you know have to walk out but then I was like ah oh, that doesn't fit because it's you know it doesn't fit with the story anyways um, now I'm just uh, making another layer since I'm done with the background I couldn't think of anything else I sh would do then I'm just painting a character over here um, just the viper. Usually I'll just create a silhouette first and then when I have the silhouette it's it's a lot easier for me to go in and make a selection and then use texture brush to paint and get the, the edge really sharp that way. So it's just a pretty rough silhouette at this moment and then if I have more time um, then I'll just go in and uh, refine the silhouette a little bit more. And now I'm creating another silhouette um, you can create this each silhouette on a different layer or on the same layer and this one I create on the same layer um, just gonna be like a, a big massive dude um, but then I wasn't thinking of the shape like I didn't try to make him like buff or anything I was just thinking massive um, and he's probably look more like Hordor or, or Sam <laughs> rather than a mountain and I thought that was uh, funny um, and then here I'm just cutting 
uh, the little guy out or this guy supposedly be uh, and then I'm reshaping him a little bit making his head proportionate to his body and having one of his arm out and giving him cleaning up the silhouette and creating his legs and um, trying to think of a pose so I'm gonna have one arm kind of resting on his hip and then the other arm holding a spear and then I have you know the lighter uh, value on his face so it's kind of showing that he's looking up at the mountain it's like what the hell am I you know so big the dude and then I give him like a snake coil I mean a snake shape tip of the spear then shadow um, the shadow is uh, obviously is coming from top and then it's probably the sun kind of set onto the left side of the screen kind of directly and then I'm giving a shadow to the mountain dude also or Sir Clinko or Kakrin, I don't know I, it's really hard to pronounce um, and then I'm giving some texture to the floor and if I have a little bit more time then I will go into the back of the wall and create some some kind of crowd or audience or something but this one I'm just um, creating some dirt using texture brush but I want to make basically keep um, the floor or the ground kind of more clean because you already have the wall that had a bunch of texture on it so I didn't want to texture everything so you kind of try to keep balance between like busy and and empty so you get uh, the spot where your eyes can rest and now I'm creating light and shadow so I, um, sort of making uh, a columns that around this wall so give me the light first and then I'm gonna give it a shadow side so now it looks like a a thick concrete or stone wall then I'm trying to go in and making like stone blocks or something which um, I shouldn't because I was thinking about it so, yeah, that's uh, but I kind of go in and give a little hint so I'm not gonna go in and draw everything it's like that's take a lot a little bit too much time um, giving it the, the columns a little bit more shadow and give it a little try to make it a little higher than the the wall level so it's show up a little bit more and it's give this um, wall silhouette a better silhouette because you have not just like a flat kind of curve line you have like something that um, the columns poking up so it's I look a little bit more interesting than what it was then I'm gonna have like a bunch of people uh, which I make it on a different layer some audience that sitting down and I have to make it um, sort of smaller or at least um, smaller than the viper size because it's kind of further away so you can't make it any bigger so um, when you make in scene with a bunch of people and have a uh, depth of view kind of think about scale also when you make like okay if the guy is like closer to us then he's gonna be super you know big and then as it go further it's gonna get smaller and smaller and if the guy is like super extra huge like the mountain then you're gonna have to multiply you know to, to make it look a lot more bigger than it was because you know if, if the guy is the same size as the viper walking out of course it's gonna be like maybe um, about one third or half as tall I mean more like top a half a size taller but um, since the mountain is really big so I just kind of make it, him super massive and since he's closer it's a lot easier um, to kind of make him look super massive also because if, if it was reversed then it would be a lot harder to kind of convey because you know he not gonna be as big as when he's closer so composition why I try to think of um, stuff that will enhance your 
seen before you start doing it like okay um, if you want this to be massive then where you should you adjust it and if that was a message but um, not necessarily that always you have to have the, the bigger things on closer to the audience um, just like what kind of message you're trying to send or what kind of um, um, scene you want to play with like usually uh, there are like big and small um, in a scene always playing off really well and now uh, I put some color on the sky and then I could have more time to play with the character so I since the mountain is massive and it's like cover maybe one fourth of the screen so I'll probably have to um, start painting him and give him some more detail first I'm gonna give him some hair can't really remember what his hair color was but I give him a little bit uh, light brown almost sandy then it's gonna have like maybe some leather armor belt so have like a big leather belt and then some sort of a a bunch of leather armor and then some leather protection on his behind and then as you can see the lights coming from the left side so I kind of arrange the shadow on the right side then giving it some texture on his sleeves it look like a bunch of you know a dark leather strap onto his forearm and onto his uh, upper arm and pin his boots a little bit of shadow on the underside of his body and the left legs and then add a bit more shadow onto those uh, leather flap that hanging from his back and I'm just gonna give him like some sort of a simple leather start mail or something I'm not sure what he's wearing at the point but um, I think in the, from the book he's wearing like the full plate or something but I forgot so this is just you know for my imagination and just for fun uh, it's a fun speed painting to make and um, since the season finale is just over, I was just like, oh, maybe I'll paint something. So, and so now we have this massive guy, and I'm adding a little bit of uh, highlight onto the armor a little bit since it's sort of like leather. Um, now that I think about it, I should have added some metal plate there. But now I just add a little bit of metal stud on the leather and some. Um, so that's a. I think the shoulder was like a, a dark plate because I start using line to create those um, plate nails. So it's more like a black metal or a really dark metal. Now I'm trying to use a texture brush to create this, make this highlight, it looks nice. And then some highlight on his belt, a little bit on this, on this uh, protective leather. So usually I'll try to you know alternate between a lot of texture brush and just um, if I'm doing a speed painting it's more like an experiment most of the time and trying to see which brush will do what but then usually I'll have like some of my favorite brush and um, I often put that a lot into the mix but I always throw in some 
um, browser that, that I've never used and that's a pretty good way to see what they'll do because sometimes you see some cool brush and you're kind of like oh that guy has a cool brush then you download it um, now I'm using a lasso tool create a fill in with the bucket tool and then using texture brush on top to create some uh, texture of the sword like some scratch or something and then adding some light onto the edge of the sword because uh, the sword is facing on the shadow side so most likely it will be kind of darker and now adding the handle then I'm trying to put some uh, lighter line to create a contour line around his wrist so that it kind of help create that um, illusion of roundness around his forearm and then some highlight on the hilt and now I'm using adding more light onto the, um, the side of his boot that will receive lighting and then the bottom of his shoes and then I'm just use some line to create um, fold and wrinkle now I'm going back to the viper which um, is probably not going to take that much time to finish him I uh, put some sort of a yellow or orange color I mean I could have done red and that's probably going to make him stand out a little more but I didn't want him to stand out that much that's why I put uh, the color that a little bit closer to background within the same family but a little more saturate and then add some um, some of his costume like some kind of protective skirt around the side of his hip which is really hard to see because it's really small and most of the time when I'm doing speed painting I don't really zoom in that much because I don't um, it's not like when you trying to make this um, speed painting you, you could care less about detail it's not the time so it's too soon uh, unless you know your scene is going somewhere and it's get good lighting and it has like a potential to take it further then uh, you can start zooming at that point but now I'm adding a shadow from you know that cast from the wall on the left side so we pretty much almost done this is um, fast and simple and a little bit of a darker line between the wall and the ground then I'm picking the color of the sky oh I gotta add a little bit you know uh, some highlight on to the audience behind the wall or say in the Coliseum or something arena so anyways this is pretty much it guys um, pretty quick ones um, yeah, I think I spent about 20 something minutes on this oh and then I'm adding some maybe particle and dust um, and then switching brush making some lighter dark, lighter you know dirt on usually I'll put the lighter value on the dark on the background that have the darker value and put the dark value over if the background is lighter so to kind of create particle and dirt and dust or something because uh, it's poly on the floor poly sand then putting some highlight or quick making the tip of the spear of the viper a little lighter all right so this is pretty much it so there's a, a bunch more easier tutorial if you click on the top right icon and or just go to my channel directly you'll see a bunch more basic tutorial and uh, or you can go to my website directly you can download brushes and you know ebook and etc so also I have a premium tutorial which you can download it on like right on my website theartclasses.com or um, also have a private lesson or you know live via Google Hangout 
if you are interested in uh, improving your digital painting or learning from me or something. Uh, or click on the you know top right icon, then it will probably lead you to the same section. So that's probably easier. Um, all right. Well, have a good rest of the day and enjoy your summer. It's pretty sunny out, and I kind of lost my voice today. I don't know why. All right, guys. Uh, until next week. Bye bye.